<laughs> so off camera, we'll be talking about the whole Broadway thing. How does it feel to go from the Broadway stage to the silver screen with this particular project? I'll start with Celia first. It feels amazing. I mean, it's something that I, it was a blessing that came totally unexpectedly and also came by way of my, the Broadway community. A lot of people were putting my name in the ring to Tyler's ear, so I owe this opportunity to my other good friends within the Broadway community who believed in me and read the script and thought of me and spoke my name in rooms that I wasn't in. Yeah. And so in so many ways, that this was a massive learning experience. I feel like I grew as a person, as an artist, and that is something that I can carry into every project, be it on stage stage or screen or whatever I decide to do moving forward but yeah this whole experience has been such a blessing and so you weren't in the room where it happens but everybody else everybody was. else was <laughs> thank goodness yes how about you Josh I mean, I'll, I'll say a couple of their names Crystal and Lloyd and Amber and mine just because I like to give credit yes. you know and um like the theater is like the gym for me now like you want I, I, I've always wanted film and TV New York was like the Broadway's like the NBA of theater I was like oh I really want to make that happen you know but you know, segue into the film is what we've always been after. So to be here is like, you know, further fulfillment of what we want. So it's a blessing. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And what this film should be called is the siblings blues because mm. maybe yeah. <laughs> that sibling yeah. situation was kind of hardcore. Do you guys have siblings? I do. So have you ever had a schism that you weren't able to get past with your sibling? Nah, I think, I think time, you know, sometimes we need more time between schisms, if you will, but <laughs> eventually somebody's going to say something to somebody, you know, we're going to be around each other and we got to get it right, you know, and we do. That part, that part. Yeah. So, are you guys real familiar with jazz, and if so, who's your favorite jazz man or jazz woman? I am named after a Miles Davis song, so Soleil, so 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 yes, yeah, so yes, I grew up listening to jazz and world music, so this was, yeah. But exploring like the jazz of this era, very exciting. Yeah, yeah. which is different than some of the jazz mm -hmm. that I grew up listening to, but you know, Ella Fitzgerald, she's, she was born in my area of Virginia, so I'll throw her name out there. Mm -hmm. There's a gift amongst gifts, so, yeah. That's great. And let's talk about these paper airplanes, honey. Okay. <laughs> I know Tyler usually, generally, does like a one-take situation, but these paper airplanes, were y'all able to do that on one take? There were, we did have to take multiple paper airplane okay. takes. They didn't always fall the way they were supposed to. And it wasn't actually usually my throw. I don't remember that I should give away the movie magic of it all. But that was like, there was an expert, expert. prop paper airplane yeah. thrower. And, and once he found it. his rhythm, it was there. Beautiful. You know. Magic to see. Yeah. <laughs> Once he found his rhythm. So he was Once like, he found, let me just aim yeah, this way. Yeah, absolutely. Aim that absolutely. Way. It's a precise art yeah, to really nice. get it to fire the way you want to. Y'all are funny yeah. to me. I wish I had more time with you. Your chemistry in this film was bananas. Appreciate it. I <laughs> really you. enjoyed it. And good luck to both of you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Looking forward to what you do. Appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. Very You're nice welcome. to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah.